guys if you are new to my channel then please subscribe it and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos thank you hello guys welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so today i'm going to talk about what you mean by integration testing and what are the different approaches of doing integration testing and later we'll talk about what are the advantages and disadvantages of integration testing and if you talk about like who is performing this integration testing so it depends on companies practices and preferences so in most of the cases it is done by testers it itself but in some companies it is done by developer as well now let's move to the next slide and talk about what you mean by integration testing so what is integration testing so what do you mean by integration first so integration is nothing but combination combination so uh, when we test two modules two or more modules together then that is called integration testing so let's say we have module a and module b so when we test these two modules together that is nothing but integration and we'll see the interfaces the connection between two modules like how the data is flow from module a to b and from module b to a so that is what the purpose of integration testing now if you remember guys uh, in the previous video we talked about unit testing and there i have taken an example of website development so let's say we are developing a website and we have home page login page and home page in our website home page so this is module a and this is module b now uh, when we log in into this application we have username username and password and then submit button so once we enter username password and then click on submit button then we'll navigate to home page and this depends on this home page until unless we won't uh, land on the home page when we uh, until unless we, if we don't provide the username and password and click on submit button so these two modules are dependent on each other so when we test these two modules together that is nothing but the integration testing now let's talk about some of the uh, let's look at some of the definitions of integration testing so testing is conducted by integrating two or more component is called integration testing with the same system or two different systems are integrated so it doesn't mean that uh, uh, within the system if we integrate multiple modules is integration testing so in integration we may uh, integrate multiple systems as well it is it is a phase in software testing in which individual software modules are combined and tested as a group so this is the meaning of integration testing during the integration we verify the data communication between the component this is what i have spoken about guys so how the data is flow from module a to b and b to a we calculate the performance time taken to complete the transaction so this is another parameter we verify when we do integration testing as well We'll cal we calculate the performance as well like how the data is flow how the interface between uh, module a to module b so time taken how much time it is taking uh, the data transfer from module a to b that is also matters in integration testing we verify the function of the application functionality of the application so this is an example guys so here we have module a and module b and this is the common between these two module where these two modules are integrated right i mean this is the common place where uh, we perform the integration testing the interface between module a and module b so in case of login page and home page so when we provide username password and click on submit button then the next thing will be will land on home page and similarly for home page until unless if you don't provide username and password and click on submit we, we won't land on home page so that is the integration between home page and login page and home page now let's talk about what are the different approaches we have to perform in, uh, integration testing so we have big bang integration approach and we have incremental approach where uh, again we can divide three uh, types like top down integration bottom up integration and mixed or sandwich integration so what do you mean by big bang integration so big bang integration when we combine all the modules together and test that is nothing but the big big bang approach when we combine all the modules together and perform the testing 
so this is big bang approach what do you mean by incremental approach so when when we combine one module to another module and perform testing over here and then combine to another module and perform testing here combine another module and combine testing so this is incrementally we are adding one module at a time so that is incremental approach again incremental approach uh, 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 is three types right we have top down integration bottom up integration and mixed or sandwich so top down bottom up and then mixed mixed integration or sandwich integration we'll discuss about them in detail in coming slides so what is big bang integration approach so testing is conducted on multiple components together all the units are tested together as one single combined unit so this is what i have spoken about in the last slide this form of integration testing works well for smaller systems so there are some limitations in big bang approach guys we'll discuss in uh, next slide yeah so this is this is the uh, big bang approach we have one system and uh, here all the all the modules are combined all the units are combined and when when we test so this is nothing but the big bang approach now what are the limitations faced in big bang integration approach so in this approach detailed testing is not possible so detailed testing is not possible because we have combined all the modules together and we don't know how the data is flow from mode module to another so it is time consuming process and it's it's very difficult to check like how the data is flow from a to b b to c c to d and then a to d or d to c like that so we have it's very complicated to test when we follow this big bang approach particularly in big uh, for big projects not possible if any defect is found it will take time or effort to analyze the defect so it is also difficult to find the root cause of the defect in this method because we don't know like how the data is flow so it's very difficult to find the root cause of the defect critical modules are not prioritized which could increase the overall risk so this is another uh, limitation critical modules are not priori prioritized which could increase the overall risk in the project so these are different uh, limitations guys when we follow big bang approach and it's yeah it's time consuming as well now let's talk about incremental approach so in incremental integration testing with the developers integrate the modules one by one which i have discussed like we uh, integrate module a to b and then from b to c e to b and c to integrate with c so incrementally we are uh, adding the modules using the stub stubs and drivers so we'll discuss about what even by stubs and driver to uncover the defects this approach is known as incremental integration testing incremental integration testing now what even by stubs and drivers so what happens is let's say we have module a now we are integrating with the sub module this is sub module this is main module guys so this is main module or parent module and this is child module or sub module now we are integrating with these two correct so let's say this is under process this is under process this is not yet done but still we want to do the we wants to do uh, integration testing so we create a create a program called stubs temporary program so that is nothing but the stuff so we'll discuss in coming slides testing in which components or systems are integrated and tested as long as all components or system are integrated and tested completely so this is about incremental approach so what are the uh, three types we have top down integration bottom up integration and mixed so what do you mean by top down so testing is conduct from main module to sub module in this approach verify the data updated in mon main module and is updated in sub module so let's say in take an example of login page login page and home page correct now we'll verify because uh, we'll verify here we'll integrate first login which login with home page now testing is conduct from main module to sub module so this is my main module login page is my main module 
and this is sub module so how the data is flow because until unless we don't log in with username and password it it won't log in with uh, it won't land on this home page so in this approach verify the data is updated in main module is updated in the sub module so here it will showcase the username right so it depends on this module so data will be updated once we log in with login in the application bottom up integration so testing is conducted from sub module and verify the data tested in sub module thus make sure the highest module is tested properly so let's say in case if this module is developed and this module is not developed so we'll use the driver over here so they will create a driver now we have uh, we have this home page so to run this program we need to supply the username and password so what they will do they will create one one valid user or uh, some function so that will call the that, that will supply the username and password and will land on this particular page home page and later on they will develop the module login page module anyway we will discuss about bottom uh, top down bottom up integration in coming slides what about mixed or sandwich integration so it is a combination of top down and bottom up integration so this is the combination of both the like bottom up top down and bottom up integration So what do you mean by stubs and driver guys so this is these are the temporary components which are used in place of a sub module and main module stubs what do you mean by stubs so it is substitute of sub module in top down integration approach and driver it is substitute of main module in bottom up integration approach so i'll show you with the help of diagram in the next slide so here you can see uh, this is stubs so here our main module is done okay this is top down approach guys so here you can see top down approach and here our uh, sub module is under maintenance under development so what developer done here is they have created a stub so some functionality they have created they have created a temporary program for testing purpose for test so this is how we perform top down so basically what happens in top down integration is without developing the next module sub module we can still perform using these stubs so this will act as a sub module now just reverse bottom up so here we our uh, in case we have taken an example of home page right so this this is take take an example this is our home page so home page is already done over here but our main module main module which is login screen is not yet done this is under development main module so here driver will act as main module which will provide the user id and password for this home page so what they will do they will create one temporary program which will provide the which will supply the user id and password for this home page screen so this is for test right this is driver right so this is bottom up approach guys so what are the advantages of integration testing so it ensures that internal modules and components communicate properly and uh, it performs regression testing on important connection points so it performs regression testing also on important interfaces between two modules it also helps to detect the issues related to the interface between the modules integration testing helps to simulate the interaction between various modules so basically integ integration testing talks about the in interaction between the two modules it covers multiple modules to provide broader test coverage so this is the biggest advantage of integration testing provide the broader test coverage if it covers the interfaces between two modules like how they are connected with each other each other so what are the disadvantages or limitations of integration testing so difficult to perform because it is time taking pro uh, process as well as it's very difficult because how the modules are integrated with each other so that we need to understand in integration testing so it's very difficult to perform as compared to system testing in which we can consider the application as a black box so in uh, if we talk about black box so we can directly consider like a black box when we talk about system testing where we need to just talk about like how the functionality are working in the integrated system we don't care about how in, uh, it is working internally so that is the 
biggest one of the uh, disadvantages of disadvantage of integration testing time consuming it is very time consuming and resource intensive to test all the interfacing between the different connected modules it's time taking process guys and additional efforts it requires the creation of stubs and drivers so this is what we have talk, uh, we spoken about top down and bottom up approaches of incremental approach which is which if not created correctly can result in inadequate testing so there should the developer should create proper stubs and drivers so that integration testing will be smoothly done So this is all about integration testing guys so if you have any questions then please write your question in the comment box and please like this video share it and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe it and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos thank you so much have a nice day bye bye